Facts about the Sun Number 5. The Sun is huge The Sun accounts for about 99% of the total mass of the solar system. Approximately three quarters of the Sun's mass consists of hydrogen. The rest is mostly helium, around 25%, with much smaller quantities of heavier elements, including oxygen, carbon, neon and iron. Every second, nuclear reactions at the Sun's core fuse hundreds of millions of tons of hydrogen into helium, releasing the heat and light that we see every day. It is by far the most important source of energy for life on Earth. Its diameter is about 1.39 million kilometers, or 109 times that of the Earth. And its mass is about 330,000 times that of the Earth. If the Sun was filled up with spherical Earths, then around 960,000 would fit inside. Alternatively, if these Earths were squished inside with no wasted space, then around 1.3 million would fit inside. Number 4. The Sun is tremendously hot. The core of the Sun extends from the center to about 20 to 25 percent of the solar radius and has a temperature of close to 15.7 million kelvins. By contrast, the Sun's surface temperature is approximately 5,800 kelvins. The coolest layer of the Sun is a region extending to about 500 kilometers above the photosphere and has a temperature of about 4,100 kelvins. The chromosphere, transition region and corona are much hotter than the surface of the Sun. The temperature of the chromosphere increased with altitude, raging up to around 20,000 kelvins near the top. Above the chromosphere, in a thin transition region, the temperature rises rapidly from around 20,000 kelvins in the upper chromosphere to coronal temperatures closer to 1 million kelvins. The corona is the next layer of the Sun. The average temperature of the corona and solar wind is about 1 million to 2 million kelvins, however in the hottest regions it is 8 to 20 million kelvins. Number 3. The Sun has a galactic scale orbit The Sun lies close to the inner rim of the Milky Way's Orion Arm, in the local interstellar cloud or the Gold Belt at a distance of 25,000 to 28,000 light years from the galactic center. It takes the solar system about 225 to 250 million years to complete one orbit through the Milky Way, a galactic year, so it is believed to have completed 20 to 25 orbits during the lifetime of the Sun. The Sun orbits the center of the Milky Way and it is presently moving in the direction in the constellation of Cygnus. The orbital speed at the solar system about the center of the Milky Way is approximately 251 kilometers per second. At the rate of this speed, it takes around 1,190 years for the solar system to travel a distance of one light year, or seven days to travel one astronomical unit. Number two, the Sun is 4.6 billion years old. It formed approximately 4.6 billion years ago from the gravitational collapse of matter within a region of a large molecular cloud. Most of this matter gathered in the center, whereas the rest flattened into an orbiting disk that became the solar system. The central mass became so hot and dense that it eventually indicated nuclear fusion at its core. It is believed that almost all stars formed by this process. The Sun is roughly middle-aged and has not changed dramatically for more than 4 billion years and will remain fairly stable for more than another 5 billion years. Originally, it would have contained about 71.1% hydrogen, 27.4% helium and 1.5% heavier elements. At 4.6 billion years old, the Sun has burned off around half of its hydrogen stores and has enough left to continue burning hydrogen for another 5 billion years. Currently, the Sun is a yellow dwarf star. Number 1. One day, the Sun will consume the Earth In about 5 billion years, when hydrogen fusion in its core is diminished, the core will undergo a marked increase in density and temperature while its outer layers expand to eventually become a red giant. It is calculated that the Sun will become sufficiently large to engulf the current orbits of Mercury and Venus and render Earth uninhabitable. After this, it will shed its outer layers and become a dense type of cooling star known as a white dwarf and no longer produce energy by fusion but still glow and give off heat from its previous fusion. 
The Sun currently fuses about 600 million tons of hydrogen into helium every second, converting 4 million tons of matter into energy every second. This energy, which can take between 10,000 and 170,000 years to escape from its core, is the source of the Sun's light and heat. 